Hello and uh, welcome to the channel. Today we're just going to do a quick unboxing of this QRP transceiver. This is the Zigu or Zegu X5105 5 watt all band transceiver and uh, 6 meters as well. Um, it's got a built in uh, ATU and battery. So the purpose of this is uh, to undertake uh, the Porter Parks on the Air program this summer and maybe a bit of soda if I'm feeling uh, uh, need a bit more exercise. Okay, so without further ado, let's open the box. Now, I have had one of these in the past, so I knew that uh, this would be the ideal solution for me. I've yet to uh, decide to order one of the IC705s, um, which obviously would be probably a better solution, but um, I shall wait and see what the year brings. So again, nicely packed. So this has come from Sinatel, who are the main UK importers of these radios. And to be honest, if you try and get it off Alibaba or AliExpress or eBay, um, by the time you've paid the duties, etc. coming in, you'll have paid the same as probably, if not more than getting it from Sinatel. So we've got a programming lead, or a cat control lead, I think. That's the microphone cable. Get to the microphone. Not sure what that is. Let's uh, see if we can open it up without destroying the box. Uh huh. Ah, okay. I think this is going to be a, a stylus. Oh no. Oh, it's a Cinetel pen. There we go. One of those ones with the different colours we used to have when we were kids. That's very nice. But that's a free gift. Power lead, which uh, again is uh, of there. They've got those uh, very small, uh, I think the Tamiya connectors um, that Zigu seems to favour. I don't think they're the best connectors, certainly not for the rough and tumble of uh, ham radio. Um, so I'm probably going to rewire that um, and uh, put a uh, Anderson power pole on there. Then we get to the, uh, I'll take the microphone out first, I think. It's not very well packaged is this. So that's the microphone, the, uh, if I do it the right way around, plugs into there and you've got the uh, ICOM style microphone there with a modular plug. And the transceiver itself. Let's move that box out of the way. There's a transceiver. Very nice. Very ruggedly built. I mean, it's one, basically one huge heat sink. Let's see if it'll power up. Um, yep, it's powering up. There we go. So that's on its internal batteries. As I say, it's got internal batteries, internal automatic ATU. What I like about it is non, well, the buttons, etc., the controls hardly protrude, unlike other transceivers. So when I put it into the, uh, slide it into the backpack or whatever, I don't have to be, worry about knocking the buttons and, uh, and, and damaging the, the controls. So that's one of the reasons I got it. I think it weighs about two pounds, about a kilogram. So it's quite light. Um, I'm not sure how much it's uh, competitors weigh. But uh, yeah, it's very neat. I'll go through more of the operation of it, etc., uh, when we uh, when we do the next video, which will hopefully be actually out doing a, a Porter event. But that's about it. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I know there's lots of people who've done unboxing ones of this, but I did want to do it as sort of the start of the Parks on the Air journey. I thought it would. Uh, just want to go through the bits and pieces. The next thing I'm going to show is hopefully the uh, antenna that uh, I'm going to be using. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.